Hello guys! Say mashallah for my skin please. I have been through it. Like look at this pimple here. I have another one here. I have another one here. But we're trying to revive the skin. I'm going to Paris today. My flight is... My flight? Why? I'm so used to going on flights. I'm not even going on a flight. My train. I am going to Paris by train for the very first time. And I'm so excited. I'm going alone. Tarek is not coming with me, unfortunately. I'm having a girl's trip because my friend, she lives in Paris. Four days of girl's time. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's go to Paris. <laughs> in Paris. I arrived last night at like 10 p.m. staying at a friend's house. I actually went to university together in Malaysia. Did you guys even know that about me? The train ride is the most convenient way to come into Paris. It really takes me 30 minutes to get from my house to London St. Pancras and then it's just a two-hour train ride to Paris. I booked the cheapest train ticket possible and that was in the evening. So I basically didn't even see anything. So 30 minutes of London and then it went pinch black outside. The plan for today is usually to the Eiffel Tower first. I really love going to places where I have a friend who's like a local it's just so much easier and fun because you're just stress-free to get around know the place and see the best places to eat and see I'm gonna set everything using my Huda Beauty easy bake this is in their baby size I'm now gonna go in with that Charlotte Tilbury highlighter it looks so glowy my friend knows that I'm a huge fan of L'Occitane she said they're having a really big pop-up in the center of Paris we're also gonna pass by and see that I've seen so many people rave about this oil and stick from YSL look at that color wow Oh, super hydrating, proper pigmented. It is so worth the hype. The shade Burnt Zelish 122. I'm gonna do eyeliner and we're gonna get dressed. And I'm ready for Paris. Let's go. It was raining cats and dogs this morning and I was just like, what is going on? I need a good picture in my dress on the Eiffel Tower. I was so disappointed, but alhamdulillah, now it's blue sky. Like, you won't even know it was raining this morning, mashallah. The, the mayor's place, yeah. And Tuileries, the garden, Musée du Louvre, yeah. as you can see. And uh, from Concorde to Charles de Gaulle Etoile, it's the Champs Elysees. Okay. All of this Champs Elysees. All of this is Champs Elysees. Guys, we just got to the Louvre. Like, look how beautiful this place is. That is the queue over there. All of that, all the way here to just enter inside. So we're going to skip that for today. I'm not about to spend half of the day in the queue. Look at the buildings, how intricate and detailed detail they are. The longest uh, king that uh, has a throne for like... two sides of Paris that is the left side and this is the right side left side is considered like the, the more ancient and old side and then the right side which is where we are more modern side of Paris so you have like all the shopping and um, the touristic stuff I guess we're heading up to the park guys it's so pretty like the grass has been cut so perfect just look at this and we have the whole view of the Louvre right here just look at that we have the Eiffel Tower sneaking in right there on the side we have so many people like on the side of the road just selling souvenirs of Paris we have the beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower right there then we have like a London Eye replica right there guys here we're at the Tuileries Park and we have the fountains there and the green chairs wait they're actually free so you can just grab one from the side over there and sit by the fountain Arc de Triomphe <laughs> all the way there guys I don't know if you can see it's like literally at the end of this road just one road all the way down we're going to a place called Le Petit Palace just look at this entrance like welcome to Petit Palace oh wow 
Are we allowed to take videos? to work at Champs-Élysées, the largest avenue in the world. When you come like this, you just see the entire avenue all the way across, and then the Arc de Triomphe right at the end. As the avenue is split into like two, obviously. On the left, we have all the luxury brands, and on the right side, we have all of the mainstream brands. L'Occitane have collaborated with Pierre Hermé and we're just gonna go inside and see it all. We're gonna get some macarons. These are the best ones, so we can't pass the vibe, right? We have to taste some sugar cane and strawberries. Nice. We'll go have some nice rice, chicken, food. Sure. Look how huge this <laughs> this bread is. We ordered like a mini starters meze. We have hummus bread. It's so nice and warm. Bismillah. Okay, guys, we have rice and we have chicken here as well, cooked in like this tin foil. Oh my gosh! All this food is supposed to be for two people. had such a good lunch, alhamdulillah, the food was so good. I definitely recommend coming to this restaurant called Hadramut. By the way, this Jean Jean is so long, like, it's quite a walk. Make sure when you come here, you're wearing comfortable shoes. Finally here, we're at the Eiffel Tower. Like literally, it's right there. I've been seeing like the top part of the Eiffel Tower everywhere we've been walking. And we're finally here, like how beautiful is it? Ugh, amazing. We're not gonna go up the Eiffel Tower because personally, I believe like not really worth the money and the time, but seeing it from afar and then we're gonna get closer and taking pictures with it is just worth it. We're getting closer and closer. We've come to this little street. I cannot believe we're right, right under the Eiffel Tower, you guys. Look how tall it is. It is so high and the sun is beaming. There are so many people around. This is the garden right behind it. Morning guys, it's a brand new day. 10.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, we are heading towards the Notre Dame. Last night we were watching the Hunchback of Notre Dame, like the cartoon. Anyways, we're walking now. Oh, look at that kid just looking at the river. He's so cute on the floor. Um, you said? It is uh, the locks? The other one, the other one on the, the other locks. side, yeah. You guys know there's that bridge, there's a really famous bridge which everybody used to put the locks in and you write your names, it's like you're locking your love or something like that. 
they kind of took it down it's not this bridge but the one after it because they the bridge couldn't support the weight of the locks anymore so they took it down we haven't had breakfast yet we're super hungry right now okay guys breakfast is served we have some croissant we have cinnamon rolls a nice healthy mango juice pancakes which has like a maple no it has caramel and bananas and peanut butter and a coffee as well no! I can't, I can't, if it touches my foot I won't be able to eat it okay guys here we have the Notre Dame right there as you can see like there's constructions all around because of the fire and it was mostly um, burnt down at the back side we also there's like a lady over there who um, you can take pictures with and we took a picture we took this picture on a like a gazette and then you have the, the Notre Dame behind and it's like you're in the newspaper We just got to the Arab Institute uh, Museum here in Paris and they're having an exhibition, like a Palestinian exhibition. And now at the Grand Mosque of Paris like it's literally like a Moroccan oasis in here it is so beautiful I think if I'm not wrong this is the one and only mosque in Paris guys it's a brand new day I stopped vlogging yesterday because I was so exhausted we ended up going to come oh we're we crossing yeah we ended up going to the Eiffel Tower at night and it was sparkling and it was so so beautiful I think I've put I've either put the videos either before or during this video for lunch we're going for a very French lunch I'm vlogging while crossing and I have all the French people staring at me oh. I think today is the hottest day out of all the three days that I've been in Paris so we have our hat on we have extra sunscreen for protection but we're actually hungry now so let's go for lunch at the restaurant it's called Chartier kind of like a food court but literally the queue was so long to just get into here literally we queued for like at least 30 minutes menu changes every day so this is the date for today it's the 14th of uh, August the whole menu is in French but what the cool thing is if you download Google Maps and this is not sponsored at all if you download Google Maps you can actually take a picture of the menu this is literally I just took a picture and it translates uh, it translates the whole menu into whatever language that you want so we have some starters here this is the prawns that has come and that is the egg with the mayo and we have another prawn and some baguettes it's true French baguettes so 
So here we have the fish with shellfish sauce and I ordered some chips on the side but you can also have it with like potatoes. I ordered some dessert to share. This is called chou à la crème. It's like it's like a bread with whipped cream and it's really good. I've been followed by these for the past I think one week to be honest. We're going into Starbucks now and this is not just any Starbucks. This is the French Starbucks. It's like the bougiest most French Starbucks I have ever seen. Guys, just look at this Starbucks. Like, what in the world? had such a beautiful day of shopping today. I bought quite a few stuff from Uniqlo, from H&M. Wow, the boat is full already. Wow. <laughs> and now we are heading to a boat ride. We're gonna take a boat ride along the Sien, Sien River. It'll be approximately, I think, 45 to an hour a long boat ride. And we're gonna see all that, like nearly the entire Paris through the Sien. Um, right next to me, like literally behind me, is the Eiffel Tower. Look at that. I've seen the Eiffel Tower three, four times since I've uh, arrived. Like, I can't believe I'm just walking right next to it, just like that. Okay, this is the river cruise. It is packed. The boat, and we're passing the first bridge. The boat is really big. You guys, we had the best cruise along the Seine River in Paris. It was so beautiful. The best time to go is around, like be there to queue around 7.30 and catch the 8.30 one that leaves for the sunset cruise because the queues are so long. You wanna be in like in the front of the queue in order to get the best seats and the best seats are the ones which are at the top of the cruise. So be there early and I definitely recommend going around 7.30 p.m. if you're visiting in the summer, of course, because the day is long. Um, it was really nice, amazing views, the sunset, Eiffel Tower, everything was incredible. I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> After the river cruise, we went to a Thai restaurant it was a halal Thai restaurant and it was delicious. I will insert a picture of it over here. It's called Asian Touch. Tomorrow is my last day here in Paris. I've been here since Friday night, whole of Sunday, whole of Monday, and inshallah, whole of Tuesday tomorrow. I'm gonna leave in the evening. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. If I do end up ending this vlog here and I don't vlog tomorrow, then I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. It really helps me so much because you guys know I haven't done a travel vlog in over a year. It's been a year since I last traveled. So please help me for this video to reach more people by liking it. Subscribe down below if you haven't. I'm sending you guys so much love and hugs and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, these are the streets of Paris at night. Bye-bye. Like <laughs> Bye.